they're back in the field looking for bugs and there's one right here <clears throat> it was a little bit further away from where I was last time this would be the let's see grasshopper I think one of Link's uh, relatives <laughs> um, I'm gonna be looking around for the female one which is around here somewhere and I'll be right back so if I look at it on screen it's gonna take a while maybe and we're back it's right here there it is and now look for after this one the other bug the the one that was on the bridge has a another one around here so let me look for it okay so after the bridge is where the other one is hiding I wish that for fighting these bastards it would be easier like some sort of bug detector where if you're at least like I don't know 20 feet away from them then it starts beeping faster or something like a beacon you know like seriously finding these bugs is not easy at all oh <laughs> I think there's a place where you can use your claw shot around here and get up there but I'm just gonna I'm just gonna be lazy and trying to get it without actually going up there damn it come on I don't have all day just gonna catch you and give you to a really crazy lady who's gonna probably do really nasty things at you at night she'll probably stick you in her coffee pot you know? I don't know what you guys were thinking right there I kinda felt like like a presence of people thinking the wrong thing you know alright so we got the female one I think uh... yeah Female male, female male. Alright, so we're done here with bugs for now. Oh, there's a rock here. Rock! 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 <laughs> Boom. We got a coin and another one, which are actually diamonds and not coins. Maybe. Let's get out of here. But I gotta say, the economy here must be extremely easy. It's not like our economy. Our economy consists of pennies. You know what pennies are? Pennies are one, two, three, four, five, right? So, but it's not just that. It's one dollar thirty cents, right? Well, in Hyrule, you don't need to worry about pennies. All that you have to do is say, okay, so I owe you 30 rupees, 34 rupees, or, you know. But you're never saying, oh, you owe me 34 rupees with 72, um, s uh, pieces of Zelda hair, you know? <laughs> like, seriously, I mean, it's, it's better that way, to me at least. And I know that it has to do a lot with math and whatever, uh, the reason why pennies are still here, but uh, I still hate them, though. I, I think you guys are, are familiar with the, uh, those machines that are in some places called coin stars. It's just that I hate change. I really hate change for some reason. So what I do is that I actually use the coin star to get some money out of the spare change that I that I have all the time. And I've made like 40 to 50 dollars this way. 
And I know that that thing takes like 3 or 4% of what you're giving, but it's really no big deal, you know. You just, maybe you lose like, lose like, like 7 bucks out of, out of every 100 or something like that, I don't know. So it's really no, it's nothing. It's like, okay, whatever, I just lost like 2 bucks, whatever. <laughs> But it's really, really awesome. I know I'm giving like free advertisement here, but I gotta say that it's the probably the best thing ever made by men, aside of the internet and Wendy's. <laughs> oh, now we got a ride. Finally, some action. So we can go put this on turbo, and it'll break stuff actually. Woohoo! Araya! Waha! Yes! I want this for Christmas. So that's the, the only uh, downside. You have no control over it when, when it's running around except to turn. Just use to do some turns. Okay. So I guess I've taken care of the enemies um, back there where I was knocking down the towers there are some little treasure chests uh, if you can go over there and grab some rupees I will grab those off screen later on but they're right there so don't worry about it and just to be more specific there's like a uh, like a, a bunch of wood in the middle uh, for flame, for you know, like a, like a bonfire or something. I don't know. But it's right there, you know. You you can't miss it. I'm pretty sure. So this is a shortcut to the beginning, I guess. Yeah. Cool. Whoa. Get away from me, freak. No, I don't want to fall in the bottomless pit. Bottomless pit in the middle of the desert that takes you to the center of the earth where you can see the fossils of the link from Ocarina of Time and, and other really nasty stuff so what do we got over here? I'm trying to see around a little bit but um, I'm trying to just get this done at least the, the exploring on this side of the world. It'd be best if I'm done here and I wouldn't have to worry about this place for a while. Since it's kind of se separate from from the mainland. So we can stick here. Ah! So what do we got here? Some skulls. We got a ruby! And a heart. Yes. I don't know. Nothing here, I guess. So nice in the afternoon here. So pretty. It's hot, but it's pretty. <laughs> at least I've heard that on deserts at night is kind of the opposite and it's extremely cold. So it's like either extremely hot or extremely cold. It's really strange. I know there are some stuff around on the corners of this desert that you can break stuff with this hog or whatever it is. <laughs> hog. I'm riding a hog. <laughs> yeah. Boom! That's the only way to stop it, actually, is to crash. You can even uh, send them flying off cliffs, like the bottomless pit. You just hit him with your sword on its ass, and then it'll run towards the, cli the, cl the cliff, and, and just, you know, it'll really commit suicide right in front of your eyes. I don't know if I've done that on this walkthrough, but I'll probably do it eventually so you guys can cry and say, and I'm evil. You're evil. <laughs> You're killing a an electronic digital creature that has absolutely no life. <laughs> ah, mommy. 
Well, I'm gonna explore that side over there. And I'll do that on the next part because I'm out of time. So, I'll see you then, guys. Bye bye.